Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at the latest release from Dogfish Head, part of their music collaboration series. This is American Beauty. Coming in at 9% alcohol by volume, it's an imperial pale ale brewed with granola, all-American hops and all-American malt. And this one is kind of celebrating 30 years of the Grateful Dead. Not one of my favorite bands, but a lot of people really like them. So what they did is they asked for submissions from Grateful Dead fans, from Dogfish Head fans, of what ingredients people would like to see in the beer. And they said most of the ingredients were illegal and they couldn't actually put them in the beer, but the one they decided to finally put in was the granola. So interesting take, you know, granola in an IPA. And I gotta mention, this thing was bottled like five days ago. So very, very fresh. Looking forward to it. Let me get into a glass so you guys know it smells, tastes, and give me the final verdict on the Dogfish Head American Beauty. All right, guys, so the aroma on the American Beauty. Wow, very, very fruity. I'm getting berries, strawberries, cranberries, grape juice, almost like a, a white wine. Big sweet floral components, big grape juice. I mean, that's what I'm getting big time, grape juice. Floral, it almost smells like a laundry detergent. It's very, very floral. Interesting stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on American Beauty. Cheers. Yeah, very, very sweet. You know, I was expecting some hop bitterness at 9%, Imperial Pale, you'd think there'd be some in there. Very, very little. I'm getting this big floral, perfumey, fruity, kind of flavor that's going on. It's a little bit grape juice, it's a little bit white wine, it's a little bit strawberry, cranberry. There's a slight nuttiness in there, there's a slight uh, citrus note to it, slight kind of citrus hoppy note in there. Uh, middle of the mouth, big, big body on this one. I'm assuming the granola doing that, but getting this big grape characteristic. I don't know how to describe it other than grape juice. Uh, it's floral, it's perfumey, it's a little bit odd. It's very, very overwhelming. Very sweet aftertaste on this one. Very malty, sugary, sweet aftertaste. Again, more of that floral, grapey, juicy, whiny kind of component coming through in the back. 9%, you don't taste the alcohol, but it's a very sweet beer and you feel some of the burn. Uh, it's an interesting beer. I don't I, Other than that, I don't know. All right, guys, the final verdict in the Dollfish Head American Beauty 9% available now. Guys, this one's going to get a B minus for me. Not sure what is going on in this beer. I don't know what hops were used in this. I couldn't find it. I know they used granola. I don't know if there was fruit in the granola, but this is a very, very fruity, type of beer for no obvious reason that's described on the label. I'm getting big grape juice, cranberries, strawberries, and I can only assume it's from the hops, but I just don't know. Big body on this one, lots of mouthfeel from that from that granola, I'm assuming, as well. It's an interesting beer. You know, if you're a fan of the Grateful Dead, I guess definitely try this. But, you know, it's, it's another just kind of one of those strange dogfish head beers. It's okay, but not real great. So, worth a shot, sure, if you can get it, you know, for cheap. But with that said, getting a B minus from me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.